The data shows the employment rate for 33 London boroughs in 2019. So here we have the uh, data. These are percentages. For these data, a statistics package calculated the values below. Sigma X is 2,470.1 and Sigma X squared is 185,590.95. Use these values to calculate the mean and the standard deviation and hence identify any outliers. So the object here is to use the mean and the standard deviation method for identifying outliers. Okay, we have to use these numbers and we can't just stuff these numbers into our calculator to come up with these values and other values. We have to have to show some sort of detailed reasoning. So using the data, we have 33 bits of data and uh, sigma x and sigma x squared that have those values. So for, for the mean, x bar is sigma x over n. So x bar will be equal to 2470.1 divided by 33. And that will give me 74.851. And we'll round that off to 75 point, uh, sorry, 74.923 significant figures. And then the standard deviation, we're using the MEI uh, specification here. So will be the square root of sigma x squared minus n times the mean squared divided by n minus 1. So putting the numbers in, we're going to have uh, 185,590.95 minus minus thirty three times our answer here. Don't round use one that's been rounded off. Use the original value seventy four point eight five one squared. So use the answer function on your calculator. Divided by thirty three, take away one. Taking the square root of all that will give me four point six seven seven, which is uh, four point six eight two three significant figures. Now we can use this now to identify any outliers in the uh, 33 pieces of data. So if we go to identify outliers using the standard deviation, you have to take the mean and uh, subtract two times the standard deviation or add two times the standard deviation. So the lower bound of that, so that will be x bar, which was 74.851 minus two times the standard deviation, which is 4.677. Try not to round off, use the uh, original values, and that will give me a, a lower bound of 65.49. This is the data, and actually none of that data is actually below that value, so there are actually no outliers in the lower part. In the upper bound, we take the same mean, 74.85, and then we add 2 times the standard deviation, four, 2 times 4.677. Again, not rounding off. We get 84.20. And therefore, we see that this piece of data here is actually the only outlier for this data using the standard deviation method. So the only outlier is 84.20. So this has been a video to show you how to calculate the mean and the standard deviation from a data set and then use that to identify any possible outliers. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.